My name is Brandi Fraser and I'm a detective with Hamilton Police Service. have been for 13 years since 1995. I started in 1995 in August. I had graduated from McMaster in May of that year and I started as frontline officer just like everybody else. I did that for five years and then after that I went into community services for a couple of years going out to the schools and the community groups. Then I supervised the community response branches. Did that for about a year. Then I went back to patrol for a couple of years. Then I went into the detective office for just over a year. Then I went into crime manager's office, which is responsible for policing and safety in a certain sector, and I had the downtown sector. I got promoted during that time to sergeant, and then in January of 2008, I started back in the detective office in downtown. So. That's 13 years of policing and as you can see there's a ton of opportunities for lateral transfers and promotions because I think I just outlined four or five or six different places that I've been so it's been a really varied career and I'm not even halfway done. I think the whole concept of self-discipline, having to motivate yourself to do your best and to be able to work towards goal achievement and it's all up to you whether you want to do well or you don't want to do well and if you want to be independent also the whole thing of going from high school to university to a career, university is a really nice stepping stone outside of your parents and getting to know yourself and independence and learning to follow the beat of your own drum. The whole focus on people and I had always wanted to be in a helping profession and sociology and psychology led me that way and then policing was the final result of uh, having studied it for the three years when I was at McMaster. I focused on sociology and psychology so group processes and individual processes and right now in the detective office we do a ton of interviewing whether it's witnesses, suspects, complainants, accused and all of that training I think helped me to put myself in the position of the person who's opposite me when I'm interviewing and also to help me with strategy when I'm dealing with people. not only to complete your education and your degree, but also to have a plan for continuing education. Our police department is very big on continuing education, so once you get your three-year or your four-year degree, they would also like to know, what would you like to do in the future? I've been taking courses since 1997, so um, that's been 11 years of taking courses. So continue your education, be physically fit, uh, volunteer with an agency that's motivated by community service, community welfare, community health, and uh, learn a second language. Those would be some big ones because Hamilton's the third largest centre for immigration in Canada and as police officers we're dealing with this uh, immigrant population and refugee population a lot. Wow.